Okay, so I promised to tell you a little bit more about the port. So the port is right here. It is just a little incision and then they slip it under the skin. It has a tubing on it that goes up this way that they ran through here, which goes into the vena cava of the heart. So that's pretty much what the port is. This is the contraption, I don't know the name of it, on the port which is what we're gonna do my IV fusion with. Chelsea's gonna help. It's important to clean everything really, really well. What is this you're putting through? Saline. I always taste it a little bit. The nurse told me yesterday I was crazy, but I always can taste whatever they put through an IV. But Okay, so now what Chelsea's gonna do is, if we don't touch this port, the tip of it, it's not contaminated, but it's probably a good idea just to clean it every time, just in case. Okay, so Chelsea's done all of the prep work on all of this IV stuff. So each bag has to be primed, and um, I'll turn the camera around. I actually can't turn the camera around without letting go of this. So anyway, Chelsea's already taking care of priming the lines. They'll teach you how to do that um, so that you don't end up with a bunch of air bubbles in there and um, to get it running freely out. It's just really a gravity pull because I'll show you the pull here again in a minute. It's not running on a pump like you typically see in a hospital. So this is just easier and you don't have to have a bunch of equipment at home. It just works with gravity.